Today we're going to be focusing on a common ingredient you might not know much about, microcrystalline cellulose or MCC. MCC is a white, odorless and tasteless powder found in countless supplements from vitamins and minerals to protein powders and prebiotics. But is it a safe and beneficial addition or should we be wary? Let's break it down, starting with where does it come from? Believe it or not, MCC comes from trees. It's derived from purified wood pulp, specifically cellulose, the main structural component of plant cell walls. Through a multi-step process involving controlled hydrolysis and heat treatment, cellulose is transformed into the fine powdery MCC we see in supplements. The manufacturing process of MCC is quite complex involving various chemical and physical treatments, but here's a simplified breakdown. So number one is the pulping process. Wood pulp is obtained from sustainably sourced trees. Number two is purification. So the pulp undergoes chemical treatments to remove unwanted impurities like lignin and hemicellulose. Number three is hydrolysis. Cellulose chains are broken down into smaller units using controlled acid treatment. Step number four is neutralization. So the acid is neutralized to achieve the desired pH level. Step number five is drying and grinding. The resulting cellulose is dried and milled into a fine powder resulting in MCC. And finally, step number six is quality control. So MCC is rig rigorously tested for purity, particle size, and other critical parameters. Now, the million dollar question, does MCC offer any health benefits on its own? While not considered a nutrient per se, MCC does possess some interesting properties. Number one is dietary fiber. So MCC is a type of insoluble fiber, which means it passes through your digestive system largely intact. This can add bulk to your stool and promote regularity. Benefit number two is that it also has prebiotic potential. Some studies like a 2019 review article in Nutrients suggest MCC may act as a prebiotic, feeding beneficial gut bacteria. However, more research is needed to confirm this effect. And a third benefit is that it could be cholesterol lowering. A few small studies have shown MCC may modestly reduce cholesterol levels, like a 2012 study in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, where 81 participants showed a decrease in LDL cholesterol on six grams of MCC daily. The mechanism of how this works and why MCC contributes to lower cholesterol is still unclear, so more studies are needed. Now onto the negative effects and safety concerns of MCC. It's generally considered safe by regulatory bodies like the FDA, especially at the low levels used in supplements. However, some potential downsides do exist. Number one is gas and bloating. High intake of MCC, particularly for individuals unaccustomed to fiber, can cause gas and bloating. Downside number two is nutrient absorption. So MCC's ability to bind to other molecules could theoretically interfere with the absorption of certain nutrients from supplements. However, research like a 2014 study in the Journal of Agricultural and Food Chemistry suggests this is unlikely at typical doses. And downside number three is allergic reactions. So while rare allergic reactions to MCC have been reported in some individuals, so there you have it. The next time you see MCC listed on your supplement label, you'll be armed with the knowledge to make an informed decision about its presence and what it is. Remember, moderation is key, and if you experience any adverse effects, consult your healthcare provider. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more science-backed insights into the world of health and wellness.